Hey, what's going on YouTube? Rich, we're back here with another video. So, see, this is one of those uh, GMO after dark, Prince GMO after dark vids where the fact of the matter is so much of um, my better uh, rants, rambles, whatever, they come from when I'm speaking after dark on things. Now, for those of you guys expecting a raw review, look, look people, this is the wrath of that thing. I'm not into the wrestling side of things, I'll probably be more so you can skip straight to what the hell I'm going to say in this video. But, we did a recipe, but if Raw is a garbage show or just an okay show, I'm not going to talk about it, y'all. <laughs> There's nothing worth talking about half the time. It's just the same old shit over and over. Now, oh uh, wow. Well, I guess I have to talk about something wrestling later. Let's talk about Michelle McCool. You know, my original intention for this vid was something uh, Japan related but looks like because it was a wrestling tangent may as well keep it wrestling so Michelle McCool now I understand that some of you fools have a very short memory but I remember all those years ago when Michelle McCool and Team Lay Cool which was basically a rip off of uh, the beautiful people from TNA hey I made a lot of videos with TNA rips off the WWE but this is one instance where WWE clearly ripped TNA's gimmick off with uh, Lay Cool. You know, but during her reign as a champion and just being booked, basically, you look at how Nikki Bella's being booked or has been booked over the last year. That's how Michelle McCool was being booked at the time. And um, a lot of people like to attribute that run of her career to the fact that oh she was Taker's girl, she was Young girl, and now she's married to Young Taker. And first of all, I'm not saying that backstage shit had didn't have anything to do with it. It probably did. I mean think about it, you know, if you're you know head of uh, if you're Barack Obama or if you meet Michelle Obama and you know had a political say and obviously her husband's the president of the United States you're going to treat her a certain way differently than you would treat Hillary Clinton. So, I don't know if it was intentional or not. It's just a matter of maybe Taker. I'm sure Taker didn't swing things her way, but obviously the dominoes fell a certain way based on what her relationship was, but... This ain't no vid um, disclaiming her or discrediting how good she was. This is just me saying that the fact of the matter is now that she's retired, you know, taking selfies with Taker on a farm in uh, Texas, wherever the fuck they're at, that that, more than anything, solidifies that she ain't just some gold digging bitch that, you know, happened to be with uh, the right guy at the right time. And that's kind of sort of where the Bella hate or the Nikki Bella hate comes from. And most of the Nikki Bella haters are AJ Lee fans, which give them another year. Now that AJ's gone, you know, she's dead and gone basically. I guarantee you within a year, they're going to be fans of someone else, you know. And that's where these people saying AJ's a legend. No, you're not a legend. You're not a legend unless people are still talking about you way past when you're gone. You know, look at the legends in all sports. Tyson, Jordan, Magic, uh, Babe Ruth, Barry Bonds. Um, people still talk about uh, Bruce Lee. Um, you know, once you're done, finished with a sport, when people hold you up in that esteem, that's what makes you a legend. Trish Stratus. Hulk Hogan, Randy Savage, you know, those guys, The Rock, Austin, you know, you don't hear motherfuckers talking about a um, Honky Tonk Man like that, Honky Tonk Man was a good performer, but was he a legend? Nah, you know, legend is when you leave, whatever it is you're leaving, people still fuck with you, you know, and I mean, sure, I'm sure you 
motherfuckers gonna be YouTube and AJ Lee matches, but the fact of the matter is, when you try to tell us right off the bat, a day after she retires, like, I remember when Trish and Lita actually retired, like, they didn't retire, they just disappeared one day, <laughs> and we didn't know they were retired till like, a month or two later, but I guess in the internet age, it's kind of sort of how it goes, well... Michelle McCool left and just kind of sort of like Trish and Leah, she just sort of faded away. Now, Michelle McCool, I don't think she'll go down as a legend, you know, a great of all greats, but I think that her still in 2015, still being with Taker after all this time, after she's been no longer attached to the company, cements what a talent she is with and without him. And I was actually tweeting uh, my guys, uh, Rail, Corin, uh, Herb, and a lot of other dudes about this. It's like, as long as WWE stays the way it is now, we will never know who truly is the best uh, female wrestler on the roster. You know, because let me look at what Nikki Bella has at her disposal. Or both Bellas. And you understand the Bella. Hey, what do we have? A reality TV show that they're the poster child of. You know? Um, they have long storylines where they can actually mold out their characters. Mic work. Consistently. <laughs> Backstage segments. Now, if you gave all that same shit to any other bitch on the roster... They would probably be as big, if not bigger, you know. Whereas, if you take a legend, a Trish Stratus, a Liga, uh, even Mula, Megan, who were way before my time, I mean, they're legends for a reason, but you take any chick in the back and you give them the same things and the same opportunities that Nikki's been given, would they shine or not? And to an extent, you can do that with the male roster, you know. So many guys that were fired or let go, if they were given the same amount of chances that uh, Randy Orton was given, would they have been as big as he was? You know? The guy that screwed up uh, AW, for example. AW. And link in the description box. But Mr. Griff did a really good rant on this many years ago when A.W. was fired for uh, a Kobe Bryant joke he made on the air but you know like I said you know it's like they'll fire A.W. for saying Titus O'Neil was like Kobe O'Brien in a Colorado hotel room but they won't say a word to the big show for his rap battle with Cena where he says John Cena in my world I'm a giant you the white girl, and I'm Kobe Bryant. It just, it was comedy then, you know. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's pretty fucked up. I'm, I'm probably linked that in the description box so if I can find it. If not, the file on that was for $9.99. Um, damn, that's all I really got, really. I think that Nikki Bella retiring when she did and still being with Taker more so solidifies her legacy as a talent versus if she would have, you know, maybe at the time, you know, her being with him did influence her getting both strong, but at the same time, she's still with him. Now, I'm not saying she a gold, is it? But she ain't fucking with no job. <laughs> Put that out there. She ain't gonna be trying to, you know, hook up with Heath Slater or, uh, or anyone from the New Day. I don't give a fuck how many chicks they get until they, until one of them fools get beat. Um, Gordon, Cena, Rollins, in a clean way, they still drop us to me. That's all I got, y'all. I'm out. It's just a quick ramble.